If you've been thinking about investing in low-cost Section 8 real estate, you're going to want to watch today's show. Dave and Kale, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and this is the show on Holton Wise TV where I work with you guys one-on-one -on -one to start, build, or grow your real estate portfolios, right? You hop on over to HoltonWise.com, click the Property Search for Sale tab, and you order MLS Search and Analysis packages. Then my team, we reach out to you. We get all the information about you we can, your wants, your needs, your goals, how much money you're working with, you know, things of that nature, your risk tolerance, what types of properties you want us to target. And then we start working together one-on-one. -on -one. I give you a video, and uh, either we purchase the property or we adjust, and then I give you another video, right? And uh, I'm doing that with two guys, Dave and and Kale, uh, these are some pretty uh, pretty big aggressive investors, right? These are oil and gas tycoons, <laughs> is basically what I'm calling them now, because these two dudes are buying so many properties out here in the Cleveland market, right? You guys are, we're really doing a variation, right? We're doing some uh, bird deals, right? Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat, and then I'm also trying to get you guys some rent ready stuff um, to to put in the interim, right? Because you guys are buying properties so quick, right? I want to keep everything flowing, right? Because you know you, we're doing like some thirty thousand dollar renovations, right? And they take some time, so. I want to mix that up with some rent ready stuff so we can get some money going back to you guys as well as some big renovation projects, right? And I thought this would work perfectly. Uh, it fits into the rest of your portfolio, right? We are doing a lot of Section 8 stuff because the Section 8 program is, in my opinion, I think it is literally the cheat code to low income real estate investing, right? Low income real estate investing, it's, it's pro is the properties are freaking cheap, the rent's still really high, but the big con, right, the big con is the risk you run into of your tenants not paying rent. Then your tenants don't pay rent, then you have to evict them, then you have larger vacancies. When you have long vacancies, you run the risk of people breaking into your properties. This is a whole downward spiral, right? But I, I consider Section 8 to be the cheat code, right? Does it eliminate all risks? No, absolutely not. But what it does is it eliminates the biggest risk, your tenants not having money to pay your rent, right? That's the root of all problems when it comes to low-income investing, right? So we get that government guaranteed rent. All, all of my personal low-income holdings are Section 8, right? I have played the cash game with low-income tenants, and it's not what I want to do. I prefer the stability of the Section 8 program. And this property, I think you guys are going to obviously rock that as well. 1863 Lexington Avenue, Lorraine, 44052. Uh, Been on the market about three weeks priced at $39,900, dude. And this uh, is just a solid reno, right? The owner is uh, an agent uh, slash investor type dude, so he works out of Geisler Realty. And uh, he picked this thing up. I'm a, I think it was like a foreclosure or something like that, and he renovated this sucker. And, dude, this thing is ready to rock and roll, man. Like, you know, he did the agreeable gray paint. He's got the vinyl flooring. He's got the white trim. He's got the Home Depot Lowe's quality uh, fixtures, right? This is what your tenants want to see, right? I mean, this is good. This thing is fresh, dude. We don't have to, to worry about anything. I mean, this is just freaking press play, collect rent, and rock and roll, man. Uh, let's read what he wrote <clears throat> about the property. Beautiful, fully remodeled top to bottom. Updated color scheme throughout the home with all new white trim, new kitchen, new bedroom, new luxury vinyl plank flooring throughout main floor, brand new carpet and bedrooms, all new doors, new windows, roof is newer. There's too many updates to list them all. Nothing was left untouched, so don't miss this opportunity to call this beautiful place your new home, right? So, with this nice home that this dude put together for us, what can we get 
for rent. Well, we'll be able to rent this out to a Section 8 tenant for approximately 1000 bucks a month, $12,000 a year. 1000 a month comes in, guys. An approximate amount of 431 goes out, leaving us with an estimated NOI of 569. You guys know the drill, right? Even though everything has been, you know, done up for us, top to bottom, we're still going to save 50 bones for capital expenditures, right? Because roofs last 30 years. Roof on a house like this, about 5 Gs. Furnaces last 30 years. Furnaces, about 3 Gs. Hot water tanks last about 15 years. Cost about 1,000, right? So even though this house looks beautiful, it looks fresh, it looks clean, you still need to save for those items because eventually you're going to have to replace them, right? That's what that 50 bones is for. Vacancy and not payment of rent, we're going to save 50 bones for that. Why? Because turnovers do happen in the business. We're going to alleviate as much of that risk as humanly possible by going to Section 8 program. But, dudes, this neighborhood is like what I would consider like a CD, right? Uh, is it a C minus? Is it a D plus? I don't know. We're splitting hairs, right? If you check out the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods, which if you go to HoltonWise.com, click the tools and resources tab, that's where you'll find that. I've got the median income, and you'll see that the median income is pretty high in this area. There's three zip codes in Lorraine, and it varies a little bit. So... Like C plus D, or I'm sorry, C minus D plus is what I would consider this uh, area. Definitely a uh, higher median income than some of the other neighborhoods you guys are in. So still need to go Section 8, in my opinion, to keep it as a safe investment. But, you know, the median income is pretty good out there, right? And then lastly, uh, another thing that you guys are saving for, right, the 50 bones, right, for repairs and maintenance. Everything is legit. You don't have to worry about anything right now, but when we do do those tenant turnovers, man, we're going to spend some money, right? Because, you know, it's, it's low-income investing, guys. The tenants, it ain't going to look like this when they move out, okay? That, that's just how it is, man. That's how it's going to be. Uh, one other thing I want to bring to your attention, right? Uh, if you look at the taxes, super low. And this is also on the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods, right? And uh, you guys are familiar with this because you guys are doing some stuff in Elyria as well. Uh, Cuyahoga County is the county that Cleveland is in. Holton Wise, our, uh, one of our offices is actually across the street from Cleveland in a suburb called Parma, literally across the street, right? So for all intents and purposes, Holton Wise, uh, we are based in Cleveland, which is in Cuyahoga County. We will manage properties in Cuyahoga County and all the counties that surround Cuyahoga County. If it touches Cuyahoga County, Holton Wise will manage it. However, if it's out of Cuyahoga County and it's one of those surrounding counties, we charge you guys a surcharge every time we have to actually physically go to your house, right? Because it costs me money to send my team on the road for an extended period of time. If you go to the property management fact at HoltonWise.com, uh, you can download our property management agreement and you'll see what those fees are. The cool thing is, though, with this county, Lorraine County, it's going to be counteracted. You're never going to worry about them fees because the taxes are so much lower, right? You take Cleveland itself, and this is all in the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. 2.79% is the property tax rate in Cleveland. Something like Garfield Heights or Euclid, we're up around 4%, right? This city, Lorraine... 1.67%. The property tax is super low, right? Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. So I am feeling this neighborhood with the Section 8, with the low property uh, taxes, dude. This is like a cheat code, like I said, man, to, to low-income investing, right? So NOI, 569 on average, 6828 As far as price goes, I think the price that he's got it listed for is fair, dude. Like, if we got to pay thirty nine nine, that's cool. Uh, I would like to, you know, just try a little bit, see if we can gain it a little bit out, right? Usually when folks have it listed, they're usually willing to come down a little bit. So I say we try to get it for 35000 maybe make our offer at thirty five, see if he bites on it. Uh, if not, maybe we go up a little bit, and then when we do the inspection, perhaps we find a couple things. Uh, like, he is advertising here that the roof is newer, but he didn't actually define what that means. So it's clear to me he didn't actually replace said roof, but he's given us very vague descriptions. So maybe when the inspection comes out, if you know our inspector is a little rougher on the roof than he is when he's trying to sell this thing, maybe I could use that to get a couple bucks off and negotiate us back down 
to our target price of 35k, right? But 35, 399, either way it's a solid deal. But at 35 it's a 19 and a half cap if you guys decide to finance it. I know you got a bunch of cash, but you know, if you want to finance this one, the bank will finance 75% of it, so that's a $26,000 mortgage. That would make your NOI, your estimated NOI, a 63% return on investment. And again, with the Section 8 program, uh, we can get rental income collected uh, consistently enough to where I believe the risk level is very manageable. When I go low income, again, dudes, I go Section 8. I consider Section 8 to be the cheat code of low income investing. And I think this will fit uh, with everything else that we have been doing in your portfolio. So as normal, dudes, uh, reply to this private email. Uh, let us know what you want to do. Let us know the exact offer you'd like to make uh, if you want to make an offer on this one. And uh, we'll write that contract up, make it contingent on that inspection like mentioned. If for whatever reason you're not feeling this, just let me know some feedback. And uh, on the next video, I'll try to hit something that better fits your goals. Everybody else, I told you earlier, HoltonWise.com, Property Search for Sale tab, MLS Search and Analysis Show. Order some if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one like Dave and Kale are. If not, if you're just here to learn, we're all about education, guys. So make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world.